Hey, Bob. Hey, Dan. I've never seen this game. Oh, yeah? All right, maybe two seconds of it in an episode of Game Sack or something else, but... Yeah, it was... I liked it a lot. I own the second one on the on the GamCube. So what do you say? We're going to jump into my file that's, like, maxed out from forever ago? We're going to sure. start a new file. No, that's that sounds All good. Right. Doing that maxed gold out leader. Goodness. You're a gold leader? Yeah. Okay. See if I can. Oh yeah, the Vegas Canyon level. This level is freaking hard, if I remember right. <laughs> Good. What a great place to start. Death Star, Trench Run, Battle of Hoth. We got all the great ones here. Okay, so I think we should do the Battle of Hoth, just so we have something to compare against in the future if we ever do any other Star Wars games. Oh wow, those are actually all the bonus stages after you beat the game. I saw so I was like, I know that that first one was the. Uh, Really? Yeah, this is you and Wedge question. just flying over Mos Eisley. Yeah, well, you're ambushed. Oh. But okay, we can go do the hardest level in the game. Wait, no, that's crazy. Yeah, Let's that's do... completely insane. Show me something interesting. Show me something either that is in another Star Wars game or isn't. Like something typical, like Battle of Hoth, or something completely weird and only in this. This one you got to play as the A-Wings. That's pretty, sure, yeah. pretty different. You get to select your craft at the beginning, just like Rogue Squadron 2 on the uh, GameCube. Alright. Okay, yeah, and then you actually get to go to this uh, menu here, and it can go around your whole hangar with all the different crafts. That's cool. That is also in now, Rogue Squadron 2. Now, one thing that they... Let's see if I have it in here. Yeah! They kept this... Oh my this, god, that this, shader. This was kept a secret, like, completely, until the Moo movie came out. Because this came out, like, a before. year before Episode 1. Cool. And then, yeah, just... Oh, here's a code. <laughs> I forgot about that. It was awesome. It is awesome. Well, let's do A-Wing. Nowadays, it would be patched in, which would be less impressive. <laughs> right. Oh man, you guys so 2D in that cockpit. He may be 3D. I thought I saw a side perspective of his head just then. It looks kind of like the side of it. But yeah, all the people running around are 2D, just <laughs> like in Rogue Squadron 2, which was weird to see on the GameCube, but the visuals were so good, you didn't care. A rebel ship called the Nona recently crashed somewhere in this vicinity. Got that N64 fog. Right. Yeah, I guess we should have said that. This is on the N64, right? I haven't played this game in probably a decade or more. That is a good sign, more than anything. All right, B shoots. Okay, we got this. Bob's ready to own some some Empire fools. Ooh. Wow, that bank you do there. Yeah. Are you hitting a button to do that? No, I'm just hitting Jeez. the joystick. Oh man, it's kind of nauseating. Okay, Rose. Let's keep the crew out of danger until our shuttle can pick them up. <laughs> I got him somehow. I yeah. just found him. The the. At least she got that radar showing you right. you should be going the opposite direction right now. I guess it is kind of showing me that, isn't it? Okay, yeah, it's just showing me this thing that I defend. So I'm defending this thing right now. I gotta go kill all these uh, Imperial ah. things around. So are you, is it a stationary thing? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah it's it's because crashed, it's yeah. crashed. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! He's coming for you. Oh man. Feeling the responsiveness and fluidity of these N64 controls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it can hold R to spin. I wish I... I can't find a break. I feel like it should be Z. Yeah. L turns into... It changes my view mode. Which we'll is, you know, if you're crazy, we got something for you. Okay, now B is making me break. Okay. So what button actually shoots? Uh, a? B, B shoots. And it breaks you? No, no. Z. Z. Oh. Sorry. Oh jeez, those tie bombers. <laughs> One moment while I slowly turn upside down. 
Look, we're in spaceships. We can do whatever we want. I know that this is supposed to be really impressive for the N64. I mean, this is like running smoothly. That's crazy. It is. You know, with a ton of fog. Yeah, definitely. Which is how you do that. Oh my god. High interceptors are so hard to hit. I can't remember if there was heavy fog in Banjo-Kazooie. I could have sworn that there wasn't. And that that was really impressive. <laughs> Jeez. How does he do it? I'm going to use my missiles. And of course, then I shoot him down yep. right before my missiles. Isn't that great? You only have six more. And A accelerates me. Da, 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 da. Let's do this. So you're just gonna land on him? <laughs> what now? <laughs> oh, looks like you've got more. Oh man, we oh. got AT-ATs in. You should probably use those missiles. I think I got him. Oh man, I do not have him. No. And that is a Jeez, beach full it, of shit smoking that thing. Yeah, and that they're trying to actually landing on top of it too. Yeah, to pull it out. That's your ship landing no, on top. No, that's that is an no, imperial look, ship. Look on your map. What? Why are yeah, we using one of their ships? Are you sure that's an imperial ship? Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay. That is what the emperor drove. Cause you know, he's styling. Yeah. Motherfucker ain't showing up at a goddamn Buick. <laughs> you got this. Man, those AT-ATs are something. I should have brought some some heavier speeders. Vehicle. I mean, a, a speeder was an option, so you could have wrapped it up. Well, no, AT-ATs don't really wrap up. They're too small. Well, that's an ATST, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah, this is an ATST. You do uh, wrap up the AT-ATs. Yes. Sorry. That was sort of smooth. <laughs> Man, that's actually really similar to how they did in Rogue Squadron 2. It's just amusing to see all these same tricks of like, okay, we need to drop a new enemy. Show a cinematic. <laughs> see, we've been doing it for a while. It wasn't just The Last of Us and Uncharted. <laughs> Man, why don't we make these anymore? Space games? Yeah. Because we don't make anything <laughs> anymore. That's why indie's such a good sector, and once right. we can get publishers to stop being asshats and fill out that middle region, the $30 game, right. then everything will get a lot better. Oh no. Come on. I mean, shit, we could get Euro Truck Simulator, but we can't get a proper space shooter. Right? That's crazy. It's just that uncanny valley of the niche isn't crazy enough. <laughs> it's just a normal niche. <laughs> This is where Dan says things that'll get people salty. <laughs> Who knows, maybe Star Wars 1313 would have had some awesome outer space segments. No. <laughs> okay. I do not believe that for a second. <laughs> okay, sure. I mean, what AAA Uncharted-like game has vehicle segments? <sighs> Look, Dan, I'm not asking for some stupid <laughs> little one-off thing. Uh -huh. I'm asking to sit down and spend hours but, flying spaceships. But what if that one thing was better than this entire game? Where the hell did our audio go? I don't know. All right, back in. That runs like shit. Yeah. That has always so cool. run like shit. <laughs> this... I didn't think it looked cool because it ran like shit. Like. I remember you one of the- You just don't like the Rebel logo oh, enough. I love the Rebel logo, you have no idea. You can't play Shadow of the Empire and Rogue Squadron 2 and not love the Rebel logo. <laughs> oh man, I'm not doing well. I think uh, I just failed the mission. Yeah, I think you did. <sighs> mission failed, gold here's, medal. Here's the gold medal for whatever reason. Well, you're still the you're still the gold leader. I mean. Okay. Well, here, let me try, and okay. then I can talk to you well, about how this feels to me. Well, go to a different level, though. No, they need to watch the same level again. Okay, it's there. Really it goes. weird. They just reloaded back up to the same. Well, level. Yeah, because only a quitter would want to go back to the stage select. Yeah. Changing vehicles would certainly be nice, though. <laughs> You failed by only, quitting. Only the A wing. <laughs> Please actually go to the <laughs> vehicle select. All right, stage select. Okay. This is so similar to Rogue Squadron Something 2. Something about that announcer is just, just great. It is. 
Uh, so I'm guessing I should go left from here for easier yeah, things. Yeah, ambush of Maz Eisley, so we can do the first mission. Okay. And you can even be the Millennium Falcon. I guess. I guess I can do that. Bob, this, uh, this controller is a real piece of work. Look, man, it, the stick didn't die on it. Isn't That's that That's because great? no one wanted to play it. <laughs> God, the Millennium Falcon's way bigger than any other ship in this game. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it can only just barely make it out without crashing into everything. Sorry, everyone. I don't care. <laughs> oh, wow. It has an intro. I forgot. Do, 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 do. Ambush of Moss Eisley. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just full, yeah. this full thing for every Rebel every opposition. Dun, 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 dun. That would be- that would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that would just be completely pace-breaking. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> make your levels really big. What? Nothing looks weird or out of place here? Nope. Look, he was on Mos Eisley. He had to fly that thing around at some point. Right? Just... <laughs> Generally not in... In formation with X-Wings and... Yeah. Uh, L is not doing changing view for me. Oh man, yeah, there it goes. To, yeah, it has a lot of views. It has a lot of views. God. Chewie's not gonna be happy. So what did we learn about that view? <laughs> this <Don't>. awful. <laughs> So it keeps telling me to go over here. I can't really tell my enemies from uh, my allies. Oh, hey. Uh, <laughs> this control's like a dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea that was that close. <laughs> like, oh man. Yeah, the uh, the Millennium Falcon is a little was big a bad and hard, choice. hard to use. <laughs> we probably should have done a space battle with him. <laughs> There's Bob's cool scores, like Bob, and die. <laughs> We're all the way back here. Wow, we we failed immensely. Race through beggars. Maybe I'll just do this so we can compare sure. it with future Star Wars games. I want to do the one right after this too, the Vegas Canyon run. That's that okay. was one of my favorite levels. I want to see if I can still play that. I can't select any. Oh, I can. Yeah. Weird. Maybe you should be the Naboo fighter. I mean, that's, or the no. X-wing, so, so we can I, do the direct comparison. Yeah, because it's a fucking. What are you doing, Star Wars trench run with the fucking <laughs> Naboo fighter? You are a fucking. Whoa. This trench is huge. Yeah. Yeah, it is. That's how it was portrayed in games back then, because, man. Because, man, good luck making a fun game that's not on rails in the actual size it was. Right. What was, um... I can't see shit. <laughs> no. Oh, God. <laughs> These controls. It's insane. <laughs> Look out, Bob. So yeah. how do I do my somersault? You, you what? My somersault? Well, you can hold R and you can spin. That sounds like it's close to what I need. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that they did, did have a button set to it. It wasn't like uh, Star Fox. Star Fox, yeah. You got lots of cool moves and stuff. You went outside the trench, Dan. You failed. You told me to do a somersault. You wanted to do a somersault, I not did, me. I, I was like, how do I do a somersault? And you're like, this is how. And then it failed me. <laughs> You were you holding on. I you... was, I was. Well, you're supposed to do a roll, not a somersault. I told you to do a roll. <laughs> well, that doesn't help me get enemies behind me, and no, you didn't. <laughs> Man, resolution's really important for a game like this. No, Dan, resolution doesn't mean anything. <laughs> hey, man. This could at least be standard death. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, I think you're suiting the white wing. I'm yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> oh, this controller's so bad. <laughs> and not in the way the power glove is. Okay, well, and that's the trench run. <laughs> you all saw it and enjoyed it with its maybe 20 frames a second. <laughs> oh, weird. What? 
More fighters inbound on one seven decimal two eight. Yeah, I don't know. Help me out, yeah. I'm hit, but not bad. I'm hit. Rear shield down. But bad. <laughs> How do I... Missiles? Uh, left... Uh, left C? Left C, yeah, and then you hit it again after you get a target lock. <laughs> it is, like, the end of the game. Is it? Yeah, that is, like, the final stage. Okay. I feel like Rogue Squadron 2 knew what it was doing. It was gonna start with that level and make you feel real cool. Right. So, you uh, wanted to play level? Yeah. I will let you do that. And there's also showing off Haas, so we have something else for direct comparison. Wow. Oh. But well, Beggar's Canyon. Like yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you can do Beggar's Canyon, and we'll just, we'll just call it. <laughs> call it at that point. This is it, Beggar's Canyon. This is the only place you get to fly this thing, and that's really cool. The left branch is harder, but the right branch is the toughest. Lots of twists and turns. Because what? I used to shoot through it with no bricks. Well, I'm an old bantha, so I better take the main route. I'll meet you at the moisture farm on the plateau. Well, I'll take the left branch if you don't mind racing against me. Guess you're on the right branch, huh, Wedge? You got it. <laughs> what the fuck is with this music? Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty weird. This is the only way Star Wars Episode 1 could have been worse. <laughs> having this music. Ooh. Don't look now, but as you're moving, the geometry on the ground and walls is deforming. Oh, I know. I can see it. <laughs> Whoa. That was jarring. Commander, you must be getting rusty. Aww. I would like to note for the audience, before we started playing this, I'm like, let's do Shadows of the Empire. And Bob said to me, he said, check this out, he said, Shadow of the Empires is bad. <laughs> I'll let you figure out what I'm asserting. <laughs> Let me pointing out this contrast. Uh, do okay. you want to show off uh, Hoth? Because that was like a minute. That right, you spent, like, I, I guess. A minute in that level. Look, maybe, maybe Rogue Squadron also is bad. Yeah, what Rogue Squadron choose too certainly wasn't perfect, but Jesus Christ, did it help improve right, on I this. Mean. I still have, have not played any more of Rogue Squadron 2 than what was available in the demo units. Oh, it's an excellent game. Yeah. Like, I'm sure you'd love it, just because you like this one. <laughs> Trench run, battle For aha. one, check this out. Really playable. <laughs> good good high mark there. Right? <laughs> Playability is up. <laughs> and it has pretty much the same infrastructure as all of this. Right? This moment, the level that, select. That, the... that moment is so cool. Like, being a kid who likes Star Wars, that was amazing. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're lighting the ground. Yeah. That's impressive. Good shooting. Thanks. I'm trying to remember why it has that deforming geometry. It's tessellation, Dan. I'm on it. I think it's a really early form of bump mapping, but to be honest, I, I've forgotten what all tech is in this game. This is this in um Oh, the B, B is the left break, R is the right break. So you're able to do sharp At least turns. in this one. Yeah, at least in this thing. Yeah. Whoosh. I sound like a jerk. You're passing up your objective. Apparently. Uh, I'm gonna sound like a jerk here, but I'm gonna give the point to Shadow the Empires on this one. Yeah? On Hoth, yeah. It did get you right to the uh, the important part a lot faster. Well, it, it just it kept what you were doing contained and concentrated, so that way. Yeah, this there is kind of a bonus level at the end of the game, so I guess they didn't. Gotcha. Yeah, they didn't have the same like that was kind of the blowout at the beginning of the game to mm -hmm. show off. Hey, this is really cool. 
This music blows dick. Yeah, it does. I don't know. Every time it's not a Star Wars theme, it's terrible. I don't think you're going to be able to tie him up in that. Ooh. Oh, man. I remember doing a lot of this in uh, Shelly Empires and War Rogue Squadron, too. Man, this is... Very slow. Yeah, it's... It's interesting how they, they always try to incorporate this and how you have to figure out, okay, what are you going to do with the camera for this sort of moment? Because, God, it's weird. Oh, to follow you and give a zoomed out enough. I love how the rope always... Oh, no! <laughs> wow, game. The rope always falls off of them when they fall down. <laughs> right. Because having it track their motion would be too hard for an N64. Man. We didn't see this mission the whole last gen, Dan. Oh, jeez. No, we didn't. Yeah, nobody, nobody was like, let's, let's just make Hoth. <laughs> <laughs> this is important. Well, maybe that's because by the time last gen had happened, Star Wars was pretty dead. <sighs> 2006? Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, they were still doing things like Star Wars Force Unleashed. Yeah, but that was shirking off everything that was Star Wars. Like, that thing couldn't even canonically exist, a lot of it. Well, the second one, anyway. Right, because they fully read in the first one. And then... Then freaking Lucas retconned it. Like, they got his permission to make it and have it fully in sync. Yeah. And then it does, they does run some random thing with the third movie. In the special edition release on DVD, mm -hmm. it ruins it. Yeah. That's awful. Lucas is a terrible man, yeah. 